Oh. Fair enough, Lorelei. I'll go on foot. There we go. Her vehicle even disappeared. Mine didn't. Mine is still there. Um, do we go in here? Ooh, My there's... people are inside. Let me do the talking. There's... I'm gonna let her talk, because otherwise I'm gonna interrupt Oi, that dialogue. Uh, password? Passwords open the bloody door before I shove a coffee grinder up your ass. It's definitely her, guys. Welcome back, sir. Oh. Report. Okay. How's it looking? Lots of movement. Bandits and Malawan patrols working together. We moved the sieves into the tunnels just in case. And we've tried contacting Reese, but Malawan's jamming our comms. Bollocks. Stay sharp, Skyman. Come on, Vault Hunter. This way. There's an Atlas base nearby with a direct line back to Reese and HQ. Malawan captured it a few months ago. I haven't had the manpower to take it back, but now that you're here, maybe we can finally send those bastards packing. With one man. That's gonna be interesting. But Marcus Munitions. Marcus loots Atlas's corpse. Let's listen to that, because that sounds like some nice well, background information. Here's something you don't see every day. Marcus eating crow. That Reese fellow, he's got Atlas making new tech, crazy stuff like homing bullets. Well, I know a price leader when I see one. I had to buy it while I could. I called Reese to let him know I'd reconsidered his offer. He gouged me, of course, but in the end, we made a deal. For better or worse, the Atlas I knew, the sad shadow chasing its own crimson tail, is gone. Okay, so Reese turned around. The Atlas Corporation, after their maniacal plan in Borderlands 1. And now the Crimson Lands seem basically okay. So these guys are the the soldiers that started the Crimson Raiders in the first place. Because uh, Roland was one as well, technically. And uh, he became the leader of the Crimson Raiders, which is what we're part of now. And these, yeah, those are their helmets. Alright, they kind of look like Helgoths from uh, Killzone, but... There we go, moving on. Oh, we have another... Oh, yeah, we've seen that. We've seen that. It's all over the television. Lorelai, you wanna... You wanna move? You wanna tell me where we're going? Ooh. See these civilians? Malawan doesn't care if they're caught in the crossfire. They're here to take over Atlas and sell Reese's new weapons as their own. To them, this war is just a merger. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to take back that Atlas base. Um, I'm ready if you want me to. Uh, I can talk to Lorelai, oh, but there's another quest over here. So hello, Payback's all I got. Molly wannabes. Everyone loves a pissing contest until their feet get wet. Right. So, as you can see, life sucks right now. There's these two Malawan guys, Rax and Max, who are crapping it up in particular. It's like they're trying to out war crime each other. One of them murdered my family. I don't know who. Find out who did it and kill him. Can we kill both of them? We can go to the murder scene. Did that stupid Finn tell you I killed their family? Well, I totally did. I'm the worst there's ever been. Guess you gotta kill me. Hey Max, look who's got a vault hunter after him. What? No way. I killed that family. Vault hunter come after me, not Rex. That idiot can kill a litter of bunnies if he had a custom built fat bunny monster. Which he doesn't, because I have that! Okay. Ugh, these guys both suck ass. Which means we can't trust either of them. You gotta figure out who killed who if I'm gonna get my revenge. Okay, we could just kill both of them just to be sure, but... Let's listen to this. Occupational hazard. The people of Promethea endure the Malimon occupation. Let's listen to that. That's all the backstory here. This planet is now property of the Malawan Corporation. By remaining in the city, you've implicitly signed a non-compete agreement with Malawan. This camp violates that agreement. What are you talking about? They're just tents. We're not competing with anything. We're just trying to survive. Malawan has a robust catalog of emergency shelters available for purchase. Any off-brand shelters are considered competition and are to be destroyed immediately. No! Stop! You can't! Pyrotech! All these ones right here! Hose them! <sighs> Another day in the free market! Oh wow. I think all weapon manufacturers are assholes. <laughs> Basically, 
I think this game is full of assholes, but hello Lorelai. I'm not sure if you're an asshole yet. You ready to move out? What was that? Yeah, good question. What the hell just happened? My controller started shaking and everything, and Lorelai doesn't know where to go. Defend civilians. Okay. There we go, let's throw a bunch of grenades all around. And he lost his arm. I do like Lorelei. She's uh she's got a kind of spunk to her that um Really into. Let's go, Lorelai. Let's kick some ass. Customer's always right, bitch. Okay. Come on, we're heading to Watershed Base. It's through here. Malawan's bloody well entrenched, so get ready for a fight. And that we are, Lorelai. Here we go. Okay. Every bit, everything's popping in again. Close, get ready. These guys aren't bandits. Malawan's a well-equipped secret army. We're gonna hit them hard and make it hurt. Okay. That was a bit weird. Hi, buddy. What's it? There we go. I'm starting to see some shields, which is interesting. Let's get the taser going and then... Uh, there we go. Kick these guys' ass. Ooh. And there go some grenades. And while they're on their ass, I can just pick them off one by one. This thing is bloody accurate. So Lorelei just standing in the middle there. Oh god. I think I can actually snipe these guys off if I can reload. Oh, what the hell's going on? I'm turning. Ooh, I'm just gonna have to take out the bipod there. Let's take out the heavy gunner with priority. There he goes. I went through all my sniper bullets there, but... So he's... Waiting to get sniped. Oh, and that's all my ammo. Seems like there's more spawning, so I'm just gonna... Get the drone out. Well, I'm out of ammo. And I'm pretty much out of... Semi auto is also pretty nice. There we go. That's it, I think. Ooh, that was uh, hefty. Liberate watershed base. And that's probably the door we need to open up. No fancy loot just yet, and that's another class mod. Just gonna grab it. Might as well. Oh. There we go. Might as well. So there we go. Let's open up the base door. There we go. Push, push the button. There we go. Grabbing all the ammo. A bit spastically, I do admit, but... Ooh. Watershed base. Oh Ooh, god. Let's get the drones out. Let's toss a few grenades around. Focus on one. There goes one. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm being revived. 
And I killed the older... Uh... Oh, that's cool that we can get revived by our friends. Ooh. Damn. Let's get that channel open to Atlas HQ. Re-establishing connection. Come on. Whew. All right. Connection to Atlas headquarters is still intact. When you're ready, Vault Hunter. Okay, I'll do that in a second. Give me a second to loot. So, let's uh, talk to Reese. There he is. Hi, you've reached Reese Strongfork, CEO and wartime general of Atlas Corporation. Just a quick question. Who the hell is this and how did you get on my secure line? Okay. Reese, relax. It's Lorelei. We've taken back Watershed Base with a little help. I've got... Hang about. What is that thing on your face? Oh, this? <laughs> this is my siege mustache. The troops love it. Anyway, uh, who's your friend? Guess I'm a vault hunter now, and a Crimson Raider, and a handsome bastard. I'm a lot of things. Vault hunter? Crimson? Oh, holy crap, yes! Oh, how, how many troops did you bring? 20,000? 50,000? You don't need all that. I'm a one-man armada. He sounds a bit different. What? Oh, come on! I, I can't take back this city with a single-digit army! Don't They're good, panic, Reese. Reese. Really good, and we need all the help we can get. Bandits are pouring into the city, and they're working with Malawan. Looks like Katagawa's made a deal with the Calypsos. Perfect. Everybody's just piling on. Well, new friend, you showed up at the right time. My top agent is gearing up to strike at Malawan's strategic gigamite. If they are after the vaults, that's where the intel will be. Go meet up with my agent, Reese. Out. Hi, Reese. Right. See you soon. So while you go meet Reese's agent, I'm going to get this base back online and start securing more of the city. Oh, before you head off, I've got something for you. Ooh, I like gifts. I like gifts. What do you have? Ooh, I can, I'm going to get the vehicle. I'm going to get the vehicle. Give me the vehicle. Heading downtown, I'm hooking you up with a cyclone. It's fast and light, perfect for getting about the city streets. Take it for a spin. Oh, yes, I will. Give me a second. There we go. I'll make sure it's loaded into your catch route profile so you can destruct a new one from any terminal. Okay, but before we do that, Lorelei has another mission. I've got a mission here I could use you on. Lorelei and the troops need their caffeine fix, and we're talking now, dammit. What do you say we start civilizing this war-torn city again? Let's start with the most precious commodity of all. Coffee. I'm feeling right ragged, and when a commander makes mistakes, people die. And I'm sure my troops could use a pick-me-up as well. Head to the Rise and Grind coffee shop to get started. Okay, so we have a bunch of side quests now. I'm gonna have to pick a few, because I'm not gonna do the main quest just yet. So that means I'm gonna have to check the map and what else we can do. Okay, so let's start. Reese's agent is a bit of a loner, but he's got quite the knack for putting people's insides on their outsides. I'm sure you two will hit it off just grand. Okay, so Reese's agent. I'm wondering who's that going to be? Who that is going to be? Because it might be another character from Tales from the Borderlands. I'm going to have to see on the map where we now need to go, because I'm going to do the Claptrap quest first. So first up, the Helix and Delis quest. We need to help some... Wrapping Doctor out with some quests? I'm not sure. It's something that Claptrap cooked up. And apparently it's been seven years since the Doctor asked for help. And the Trail of Blood doesn't really bode much confidence. Let's, uh, let's check this out. Hello, sir. He's definitely still alive because he's walking around. Hello, Ace Baron. A Vault Hunter? What are you doing up in here? Something about the last staff, boy. Ring a bell? Seriously? I put that request up like seven years ago, back when I had a respectable establishment, not this crap pile you see now. But I am glad you're here. See, I'm trying to help out all the poor bastards affected by this war, but yo, straight up, we are running short on med supplies. We need hexapryzine, skag oil, melodinax, and hemopax. Track some down for me, will ya? Okay, that, ooh, that's a lot. Um, I'm hoping that's more interesting than just that, but... We'll see. Give me a second. Oh snap! I forgot to give you a mixtape. Do you want one? No. Oh, ah, well, maybe later, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. You're concentrating on your flow. 
I'll hit you with it later. Some bandits jacked a bunch of my medical supplies. Find them and blast their janky ride. Okay, I'm supposing that's it. No, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. That's a gun, though. I'm gonna quickly check out the gun. It's the double penetrating stranger. That, that. I'm not gonna touch that with it. That, that's just a very inappropriate name for a gun. Okay, so the next one seems to be through this great. Oh God. There we go. Oh God. I think I got killed by my own drone. Because he dropped a grenade in that corner. And that wasn't good for me. Damn you. Uh, pistol time. That's gonna help. There we go. I dropped another grenade. Watch out. A bouncer grenade is bad in an enclosed space like this. Healing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Where did he kind of popped up there? Ratchlings. So those are kind of a combination of rats and roaches, I suppose. Ratches. I think, yeah, basically it's like a roach with a rat face. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, that was a close up. Ooh, a badass ratch. There that goes. Oh god. This thing is still on fire. And then the drone. Just gonna use the bigger guns now. There it goes. And I got this an old, a vulgar polisher. F fair enough, I suppose. There's a weapons chest in here, though. That's always nice. That was the drone shutting off. That was the drone shutting off. Take it easy. And that... What the hell is this? The booster pattern... Red. But how is this a bazooka? Dark tag an area with a tracker grenade. Your projectiles will home in on tagged enemies... For eight seconds. Hmm. We could swap out the sniper rifle for this. Just want to see what the hell is this thing even? It's not a rocket launcher per se. And you know that ain't sanitary, but my patients need their meds straight up. Okay. There's more meds in here, but those are mine. Okay, up to the final batch, I suppose. This thing looks heavy. There we go. I think I hijacked one of those hovering technicals. So that's great. There we go. This looks cool. Where do I drop this off? There's one, I think. So let's scan this in. And that should get us new parts. Or not. He didn't say they were new parts, but I think those were. Um, otherwise, oh, I should probably take a new vehicle. Seems like I might be able to vault my way up here, pun intended. That punk ass is a black market dealer. I'll bet dollars to D's nuts he stole those supplies. Dude's a pushover though. Just threaten him and he'll give him up. Uh, okay. Um, hi. I got some supplies here and I'm happy to sell them for a reasonably marked up price. I'm just trying to feed my family. You understand, right? Please, don't shoot. There's been enough bloodshed around here. Just give me the cash and we can make a deal. Yeah, yeah, we've all got a sob story. As for me, I've got patience to heal and no patience to deal. Just threaten him and be done with it. Okay. You don't know what it's like down here. People don't eat for days. It's a nightmare. I I'm gonna pay him. Thousand, what, a thousand freaking dollars. Um... Threaten Harden or pay Harden? I mean, I, I don't care about the money. There we go. In a given mood. It's rare, but it happens. Look at you. Wow, thank you so much. 
You have no idea how much this means to me and my family. And there we go, we get our supplies. Yo, that's all the medicine! We still need another hemo pack, but we'll figure it out. Come on back, player. There we go. Back at the Baron. East Baron, that is. We need to put that down here. There we uh, go. Looks like we're still a little short on hemoglobin. Hemoglobin disrobing is the title track on my mixtape, by the way. Did you want one? Or... No? Still no? No. Okay, screw it. I'll donate some of my own. Grab this empty emo pack and give me an assist. Oh, okay. Do, do you want my blood done? I suppose he's gonna give me a transfusion, isn't he? The, the part where I'm losing blood, not the part... Okay. That seemed perfectly normal. Is that a real bad or not? Oh, it's not a real bad. la dee da dee da -dee. Very, very carefully. Ah, his blood. Okay. Easy does it. <laughs> yep. okay. okay. That'll do. Holy crap. Sorry. Oh, uh, I didn't mean Oh, sorry. I kind of forgot there that our tree is the Mali the Mali attack. I severed his arm. Um, but we did get a I don't know how the blood got in there. Thanks. I think but at least maybe this will finally give me some street cred. Uh, maybe I'll get one of those sweet Atlas robot arms. But hey, don't worry about me. I'll survive. It's all my patience, thanks to you. Mount Schuler is finally ready to staff up and heal the hurt. Uh, okay. Oh, by the way, that Harden guy stopped by. He wanted you to have this. His way of saying thanks, I guess. Word. Aha! Uh -huh. Last chance on that mixtape, by the way. Still no? Uh, we got Word. something extra. We got a blue shield because of the extra reward. So, so sorry, sorry, Baron, that I... Cut off your arm. Look at all the blood. I, I'm really, really sorry. But that's another side quest on the Zul of recovering. Crimson Lance here, although they seem dead. Sir, they're not moving anymore. Okay, so we still have another quest in this area called the Molly Wannabe. So those two guys that both claim to have murdered that poor woman's family. And uh, we need to find the correct one and kill him. I think it was Rax or Max. So let's go to the murder scene. This thing is really snappy and it makes a really great noise as well. Um, it's supposed to be over here? Oh, this is the murder scene. Wow. He said he chopped them up. Okay, that, that's really weird, guys. I'm trying to get up here, but this vehicle isn't that maneuverable. More dead people. Wait, what? Choose to kill Rax or Max. Um, I think when the previous one, I would have to watch this back, but I think the previous one, 
Rack said something about chopping them up. I mean, there were body bags there, so I guess the bodies could have been in those bags. I don't know if we can know which of the two actually killed them. So, there's one big elevator, so that's fine. Let's go in there, push the button. Push the button. There's this little village on the bridge. There she goes. Uh, I don't have a sniper rifle ready, but I can do the assault rifle. And she has plenty of ammo. And there seems to be something of a collectible here as well. What is that? It's on the map. Oh. There's a toilet. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Lots of stuff in the toilet, but not something for me, I guess. What is this? I'll see you in a second. I probably need to return over there anyway. So there's cars strung up over here. That's a really cool way to make a, a little level. Okay, so Tyreen is uh, teleporting more guys in. Uh-huh. I do love semi-automatic. Ow. E. Ow. E. Ah. There we go. And then over here. Oh wow. That was a, a cryo bomb. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with a banjo. Okay, you couldn't hit a cow's arse with a banjo. Fair enough, I suppose. Rax. Rax and Max. Um, so he's level 11, so I'm gonna go for the bigger challenge. Oh god, I went down. Not as much of a challenge, I think. Did anyone die already? Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, gold. Ooh, gold. Yeah, I'm gonna die. There we go. Where is that psycho going? There she goes. Oh god. There she goes. Oh god. I'm gonna have to run. Drone. Drone. There goes the brute. Just gonna take out a few fanatics around these guys because this is a lot to take in. There goes that. I think they hit a battle as well. Come on, Rax, die, die. There goes Rax. He's swapping a purple gun. Where's the other one? I can't kill the other one now. Okay, return to Ziff. <laughs> this is a weird game. This is a really weird game somehow. Because I could have, I could kill all those other guys, but for some reason Max can live. I killed the high-level guy though. I can't do a single thing to him, but purple weapon. So the double penetrating gratifying Duke consumes two ammo per shot and stuck gyro jets increase damage by seven each. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I'm gonna go with that. And then the rocket launcher is still one of my favorites that I'm still gonna have to use. And then the blue shield we got from the other side quest was better living through medical science. On taking damage, has a 35% chance to drop an upper or downer pill. These pills provide buffs, but can have some bad side effects. I want to just try that out. Because um, my current shield is a lot better, but I want to try that out. I don't know what's that gonna, what that is going to do. Uh, so let's return to Ziff. Uh, now I'm 
second-guessing myself. That other guy seemed pretty family murdery too. There's still a chance it was him. Maybe you could go kill him just in case. Oh, I can. <laughs> kill. Oh, kill the remaining. Oh, it's gonna give me the chance to test out this bad boy. Smart rockets or tracker grenades. Hmm. I can start off with the tracker grenades. I can fire off. Did the rest actually respawn? I don't think they did. So let's fire uh, tracker grenades and then. And then let's send out the drone as well. And then. Oh, wow. Jesus. That new pistol is awesome. So we killed the remaining trooper as well. This is locked for some reason. Where did this guy go? Just down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have a target for dropping people onto. I don't see how that's. I mean. You're not aiming at that, right? Because he's just walking off. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I need to kill the sp speaker of some sort as well here. Aha, there is a bit of a balcony down here. Okay, okay, okay. And there we have another... Ah, that's a Typhon one. The day I arrived on Promethea. Those buildings look so tall and majestic. I was so busy sky gazing that a thief stole the pants right off my Kista. Promethea is no Pandora. But a city is still plenty dangerous. I knew this was the sort of place I would either find my destiny or die in a gutter. And thanks to my partner slash nemesis, Aslan de Vega, Promethea was almost both. Aslan de Vega. Okay. Eh, fair enough. There we go. Some more ammo. And we tried out the rocket launcher as well, which is cool. And this new gun is gonna come in really handy. Let's get back to Ziv. Hey Ziv! I avenged your family, I think. You're a killing machine, Vault Hunter. Thanks for taking the endless cycle of bloodshed onto your shoulders. Now I'm out of it. Here, this should help make up for your bloody shoulders. And uh, we got something extra? Ex extra? Stuff? No, it's not showing me. Um, okay, that's weird. But you know what? Nothing new in my inventory? Nope, nothing new in my inventory. Still don't know what the shield does. With the pills, we're gonna have to see that sooner rather than later. Next time on Borderlands 3, we get some coffee. Hey, boy, need a cup of Arturian Super Black. Oh, can't do it. Power cord just blew out, and I can't do the coffee thing without the power. <laughs>